Right, so our first request, I think the main request things to go through was Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. Um, and I'm going to add this under its section in uh, Google Classroom uh, so you can reference it easily. So here is a typical sort of question, a regression, and Pearson's question. So we've got, well, you can read it yourself, can't you? We've got a cafe, someone's, there's, we're looking at the waiting time between ordering and receiving a cup of coffee, and it's dependent upon the number of customers who have already ordered their coffee and are waiting to receive it. Sarah, a regular customer, visited the cafe on five consecutive days. The following table shows the number of customers, X, ahead of Sarah who have already ordered and are waiting to receive their coffee, and Sarah's waiting time, Y, minute. And so the relationship between x and y can be modelled by the regression line of y on x with the equation y equals ax plus b. You've got to find the value of a and the value of b. So you can do this in your GDC. This would be a calculator question. So uh, let's have a little look. So you're going to need to go into your spreadsheet. So just a reminder. So go to your home menu. And you can select the little green fella there. And that will take you straight on to your spreadsheet. You're then going to need to input your data. So we go back to that. You can have a little look. Um, I'll let you do that. Why don't you just pause the video um, and you can input the data and do it with me. Just a couple of reminders. Remember to label here. So one would be X, one would be Y before you uh, enter the data. And here is that data again. Right, just realized I don't have to pause as well, so I can just get straight on with it. So it should look like this. Here's what I did earlier. As you can see, beautifully labeled there. Right, now, first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna, we'd, let's look at a scatter graph. So you can, we can draw a scatter graph. Uh, I've only recently just found quite a nice way, or a nice way of doing this. So if we go into, your home page, and you want to use this one here, the sort of that pink, purple one for charts. And what you can do is here you see where it's got these little axes. You can click on that. Well, I want X for that one on the X axis. And look at that. It's magic, isn't it? And then this one would be Y, and it draws me a lovely little uh, scatter graph there. And now I can analyze this graph. So one way to get my regression line, I'll show you another way in a minute, which I'm sure we have done before. Uh, you go to Analyze, Regression. Uh, how is it said is so AX plus B? So it'd be the top one here. And there you can see, let's just grab that. So you can see the regression line it gives you. So shall we just uh, write that in? So Y would be equal to 0.805085x plus 2.88136. Now, there is another way we can do this, and also a way to get uh, Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient, which we've got to find out for 1b. So write down the value. So this is fairly easily done. So we can go back into your home thingy again, you go into the calculate area, you go into menu, you go into statistics, you go into stat calculations, and we look at the linear regression. So we can do it this way, pop. And for X list, funnily enough, we're going to select X, and for Y, we will select Y. You don't need to do anything else, just click on OK. And you can see here that we've got the values for M, and B as before, or as it's worded in your question, it is A and B, isn't it? Yeah. And we can also find Pearson's here as well. So here is Pearson's, that is R. So that would be 0 0.9782 sig fig. So let's write it down. One C interpret in context the value of A found in part in A part one. Well, there only wasn't part A part A. Right, so the value of A is zero point eight zero five. 
that is going to represent, in the context of this question, the uh, average increase in waiting time uh, for per additional customer. And then if we move on to the final one, so we've got 1D. So we've got to use our result to estimate the waiting time to receive her coffee. So I've copied across the numbers uh, to make sure I don't lose accuracy in my answer. So on another day, Sarah visits the cafe to order a coffee. Seven customers have already ordered their coffee and are waiting to receive it. So we just substitute in. And if we did that, then we should find that uh, rounded to three sig fig, it would take 8.52 minutes. So yeah, remember, don't, don't round too early. Um, otherwise, you'll lose a little bit of accuracy, so try to keep it as accurate as possible.